easy then. Alright, no, the tape's gone, so that's gonna pull it down. So here's the end of. Ah, uh, I got myself wet. Hello and welcome to How to Hell and Where You Learn Something Different Every Day. In this episode, we will be diagnosing and fixing an interior water leak for this 2011 Infiniti EX35. Now this procedure applies to all other Nissan and Infiniti models with the same sunroof drain system. First thing we notice is that the A-pillar cover is damped, so we know that the water is coming from the ceiling or on top of the headliner. So we're going to start our inspection from the top. First thing we're removing is the sun visor, so flip it down and move it to the side. The sun visor holder has a hole at the back. So you need to put in a flathead screwdriver to this hole or slot. Then you press down on the clip inside. After doing that, you can turn this around. Let me show you. So to demonstrate, I'm going to put in a flathead screwdriver on the slot and I'm going to push it in. Now once you push it in, you can turn this 90 degrees either way so it would release from the slot, then pull it down. This is the locking mechanism that you need to press in and turn it so you can release it from the hole. These are the tabs that holds it in the hole. Next is the other side of the sun visor. Use a pick tool or a flathead screwdriver to take off this side because this is just a cover. Unfortunately, please expect this to break because this is really hard to take off and you have to really be very, very careful with it. And just to show, this already has broken off on this end. That's why it's easier to remove right now. But if, it, if this wasn't broken, it will have locking tabs like this ones and it would be almost impossible to remove. So just expect that. Not trying to scare you, but it really took a whole while to remove this when it was still whole. Now let's remove the two screws holding the sun visor up. So use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove them. There's one. There's two. Now, of course, this has a wire for the light on the sun visor. Look for the locking tab. This is just a pinch and pull to remove the connector. That's what you need to pinch. So now we have the sun visor out. Now let's remove the grab handle on the driver's side. And on the cover, there's a locking mechanism that you need to press down to remove the cover. So press down and pull. This is the mechanism that you need to press down. Do it on both sides because there's two of them. So press down and pull. Once you pull that out, the grab handle is going to release from its base. There you go. Next is removing the front portion of the weather stripping. You can actually take out the whole weather stripping but we only need access for this side. So just pull it down to remove from the base. Again, for now, we only need this portion to remove the A-pillar. Use a panel removal tool to remove the A-pillar cover. Simply slide it in between the slots and you can pull it off. But be careful because some models have this clip on the A-pillar that holds to the A-pillar end cover that is very close to the airbag connector. So what you have to do is use one of your clip removers to separate them. 
just be careful because next to it is the wire or tug for the side airbag so let's separate this carefully not like that just be careful I don't know if you can see it well but it's the blue one almost out I just have to really be very very careful all right I'm gonna do a close-up then I gotta do it off camera because I don't want to mess it up here you go so you have to separate that from the a pillar so that you don't pull this wire or hole for the airbag all right let me do that off camera sorry a few moments later so after a long struggle, I was finally able to remove the retaining tabs. So what you really need is a very slim tool clip remover and slide it here in between the A-pillar and the washer, the plastic uh, built-in washer. And once you have it in, you have to press those locking tabs to release it from the A-pillar. And once it's released, this should go out of the base. So you just have to push that in, squeeze it in with your tool. It's very challenging. So just be patient when you do this. With the sun visor out, a pillar out, grab handle out, and partial weather stripping down, we can now pull down this portion of the headliner because this is the part that we are concerned about. So just grab carefully on oh fell down already yeah so carefully grab on this there should be clips that is holding up in place but ah, for some reason it fell down i'm surprised then with that we can look at this portion and uh, as you can see the hose is not connected on the drain sunroof drain that's why it's leaking so and remember this was damp when it was raining and the a pillar was damped as well so maybe we just need to disconnect or maybe we just need to connect the hose back but since we're in here we might as well clean the hose so let's bring down the hose you see there's some retainer clips for the hose it's just tape Right, so I guess we'll pull it down carefully, pull down the tape. Actually, it's taped on this clip. Let's take out the clip. Give me a second. The hose is taped on a retainer clip. So we'll take out the whole clip holding the holes in place. I think it's same deal with the A pillar. You have to slide it in between the base and the panel to and squeeze it in. All right, the, the tape's gone, so that's gonna pull it down. So here's the end of. Yeah. As you can see, there's water in it. Ah, I got myself wet. So let's drain out the water. Then we're gonna try to unclog this. Okay, so we're gonna use this car vacuum first and not put too much pressure because I don't want the other end of the drain hose to pop off the line. Let's see what happens. work so here's the fun part I traced the green hole goes all the way to the driver side firewall so I went in the engine bay by where the brake booster and brake fluid is located and I found the drain and that green part 
that one. Yes, that's the end. And as you can see, the center is very clogged. So I'm gonna try to clean that up. I don't know how, and I'm gonna try to record it, but if I don't record it, my apologies, but that green part, that center, that's what you need to clean. So for reference, I have this drain end that you saw by the firewall and that is clogged up right now. And I want to show the design that this is the tip that is getting clogged up right now. This is there to prevent any insects from crawling in your drain hose. Now what we're going to do is snip out this end so that the clogged dirt and debris can pass through and the drain hose won't be clogged anymore. To get better access to the drain hose, I'm going to take out this quarter panel cover. So there's one, two, three, four retainer clips on the inside and one on the outside. Once you take off those retainer clips, you just pop this off and it should be removed. So now we have better access to the drain end on the firewall side. Alright, so now we're clipping off the drain shield. Clipping off the drain shield. Dropped it and it's gone. So what I was able to do is snip out the end, the end that prevents bugs or insects to go through the line because that's where dirt and debris actually get stuck. And just to add, I sprayed the drain hose with pressurized air so that the remaining dirt and debris would be pushed out. So now that that's done, I'm going to reinstall the drain hose on the sunroof drain. Then I'm going to reinforce it with zip tie so it doesn't disconnect again. And after that, we're going to reinstall everything in the reverse order that we removed them. And here's a video of me tightening the zip ties on the drain hose and sunroof drain. Stay in position. There you go. Now we'll cut this later. But I just wanted to show. Snip. Now if the passenger side floorboard is wet as well, you can use the procedure we did on the driver's side to drop the headliner on the passenger side and check and clean the drain hose. Now, I haven't done the drain shield on the passenger side, meaning clipping it so that it doesn't clog anymore. So I'm going to use my endoscope to point it on that area and record it so you can see it on video. So the 
rain shield or end of the drain hose is located also on the firewall on the passenger side. Almost the same on the driver side. Just a little process to get to. So we took off the plastic panel on top of the battery so we can go through this area to clip off the drain shield. Okay, let me just get into position. Okay, clipping off the drain shield. Okay, I'm gonna go. And that is how to unclog and clean the sunroof drain system on this 2011 Infiniti X35. And this applies to other Nissan and Infiniti models with the same sunroof drain system. This has been another episode of How to Helen. My name is Arjeff and thank you for watching.